Electro Demon. <laughs> so, Scan Nanzo de Taskiyonagatanga. Antonio, what do you know? Come on, the eye to Shitaru. Korea, ten in the Shindu. Like a Dragon Ishin just recently came out for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. This is a remake of the original game called Yakuza Ishin, which came out way back in 2014 for the PlayStation 3 in Japan only. Fans have been begging for this to be at least localized and finally Sega delivered. In 2023 we got Like a Dragon Ishin, a remake of the 2014 game. It's now in English, I mean the dialogue is in Japanese and the whole thing has English subtitles and English menus. This is a very Japanese heavy game. It's set at the end of the Edo period in Japan. I was able to understand the story and enjoy it but you should be at least a bit familiar with the Japanese history in order to better understand the game. This game features characters from the previous Yakuza games, or now, like a Dragon games. You play as Sakamoto Ryoma, who is in past games Kazuma Kiryu. I think this is cool, a lot of the fan favorite characters are here. There's even my favorite character from the entire Yakuza series, Goro Majima. Now he is Okita Soji, a captain in the Shinsengumi in Ishin. <laughs> You play as Sakamoto Ryoma and basically a masked assassin kills your father and you're on a path to find the killer. The killer used a specific style of fighting called the Tenen Rishin style and that's your only clue to the killer. You arrive to Kyo and start your search from dojo to dojo to find this mysterious killer. Your investigation leads you to Shinsengumi, a group of samurai acting as kind of a police force back in those days. You join them because several of their members are using, using the Tenen Rishin style. And it gets pretty convoluted from here. It's a fantastic story with lots of plot twists, revelations and deceptions. It's also a very history heavy story. The grander story is about abolishing the Japan's uh, caste system and restoring the imperial rule away from the hands of the Bakufu. I love the story and all its characters. A great story is something I expect from the Yakuza games and Ishin fucking delivered. Ryu Gakutoku is just a fantastic studio with exceptional talent for story writing. Let's talk about the gameplay. <laughs> This is an action adventure with focus on melee combat. It's one of the best beat em ups ever made. Hell, you hardly even see beat em ups these days. The combat is exactly the same as the previous Yakuza games, uh, except you have a samurai sword instead of your fist. You can choose between four different styles on the go. Brawler is your hand to hand combat, swordsman is fighting with the sword, gunman is all about pistol, and wild dancer is combining a gun and a sword. Honestly, I mostly use the swordsman style. It offers precise attacks with the option to block and evade. Gunman is okay for some situations, Brawler is a fun solution for a weaker enemies and Wild Dancer never really gelled with me. The combat is cinematic and awesome. I gotta say, there's a lot more blood here than in previous Yakuza entries. I like this. You also have your heat attacks, a staple of any Yakuza game. These are special attacks that consume your heat but do solid damage and are highly fun and cinematic to use. You feel your heat meter by evading or punching enemies. Sword combat really feels awesome. You also level up by gaining experience points from combat. You get orbs who you then place in a certain skill tree wheel. You can also craft ton of stuff. 
like better gear, better swords or better guns. You do that by collecting junk from the world and then using that junk in the craftsman joint. I rarely did this because I was lacking the necessary materials. Some of the materials are very rare and sometimes downright dumb. There's one that caught my eye. Ronin's hair tie. Why the fuck would a sword need a hair tie from some dude? Ridiculous. But you can also buy better gear and sometimes you get better gear through missions. Once you join Shinsengumi you get access to troopers. Basically troopers provide buffs in combat and can even attack. You can also do trooper missions, but this is just going around and killing dudes. You're not alongside your troopers. Kinda silly. The trooper system was something really unnecessary in this game. I mostly focused on one style, that is the swordsman. I invested all my points in that style, but sometimes the game forces you to use a specific style in combat. Not often, maybe a handful of times, but this was a bit annoying and luckily I had a shit ton of healing items, so I managed to get through this. The main missions are great, most of them are action packed and I like them. Of course there's a lot of boss fights in main missions and all of them are awesome. I've loved, always loved boss fights in the Yakuza franchise and Ishin delivers them. I like how every boss fight now has a single health bar. You remember in past Yakuza games, especially older ones, some bosses used to have 5 or 6 health bars and that was fucking annoying. Now there's just one and I appreciate this very much. There's also a lot of side missions in the form of sub stories. I always do maybe like 15 sub stories in my playthrough of any Yakuza game and Ishin was no different. I did around 15, 20 of them and they were okay. Sometimes you get forcefully dragged into a sub story and you have to finish it but I didn't mind this. The main city is Kyo, you will be spending a majority of your time here. It's a cool looking ancient Japanese city with plenty to do in it. Later you get to visit Tosa, your hometown and this is where the game's finale happens. You can also grow plants, cook and do all sorts of stuff in your house. You kinda adopted this girl by the name of Haruka but that's as much as I'll say on the matter. In my opinion there's too much fights you get dragged into on the street. Every two feet there's like some bandit wanting to take me on. Kinda starts to get annoying after a while. There's the virtue system in this game. You do good deeds, some side missions, socializing with the residents of Kyo and you'll get rewarded virtue. You can then use your virtue points in these shrines to get more sprint energy, bigger inventory capacity, etc. I like the atmosphere this game has. I love old Japanese history and this game is oozing history and atmosphere. There's also quite a few quick time events in combats and in some boss fights and these were not bad at all. There's also a shit ton of distractions. You can play side missions, you can gamble, dance, train in different dojos and a lot more interesting stuff if you're into it. The city of Kyo is small scale but it's packed with stuff to do. Bigger is not always better. Hear that Ubisoft? You should stock up on health items before any boss fights because the combat is fun and some bosses are pretty tough. If you were to do just main missions the game would last you around 15 to 20 hours but with side missions it's probably even more than 50. The music is superb in this game. It's Japanese metal combined with electronic and there's also some cultural music as well. The boss fight music is also very awesome. There's this track from the previous game, well not previous game but one of the games in the Yakuza series, Yakuza 0 to be precise, where you fought Kuze. Who is, and this is really an awesome track, it's here as well and you fight him, well he's not Kuze in this game but there's the same track playing when you're fighting him, I like that attention to detail. Like a Dragon Ishin runs on the Unreal Engine 4, it's a great engine and it's a great fit for this game, everything is sharp and nicely detailed and it runs very smooth except when there's a fire in Kyo, I noticed quite a bit of lag in that section of the game but it's one chapter so it's no big deal. Sometimes also after a cutscene where the game transitions into gameplay there's some popping of textures for a brief period of time but really it's nothing game breaking.
上様やつが例の賊にございます見ればわかる立ちを持てはっ Like a Dragon Ishin is a spin off from the mainline Yakuza games. It's a great game if you're a fan of Ryuga Gotoku Studios' work and games. This is genuinely a great game. It has its flaws, but it's consistent enough in being a great game. If I had to give a score to this game, I'd give it 9.1 out of 10. You are Tokugawa Shogun. I don't know my face. 